Hey, what's going on there, everybody? Cloud of Truth here, back with some more Battlefield 4 gameplay, and today, going to be taking a look at the MP7 that you're seeing right here on the screen in a nice 16 kill streak here on Operation Locker. Now, the MP7 was supposedly, let's have air quotes right here, accidentally leaked with a patch prior to the China Rising DLC coming out, so that was, what, maybe a few days ago or about a week in which the weapon was supposed to be released with, but it was accidentally released prior to that, which, hey, that's fine, because we got access to it, had the chance to unlock it, and then began to use it. And this MP7, returning from Battlefield 3, as well as, golly, long before that, is a fantastic weapon in Battlefield 4. Now, the stats of this weapon are currently unknown, just because the guys at Simthic that do a ton of work, and they're just, it's fantastic and awesome, the work that those guys do, they're just been busy with the stuff that they have to do and just haven't had the chance to get into the game files and get the stats and really the raw data of the new China Rising Guns, which is fine because, you know, let's not make them rustlings, they want to do it right. So let's just cut them some slack, don't be on them about getting the stats for guns. If that's something you really want to know, just wait, they'll have them in due time. They always will. But the MP7, what we, what we do know a little bit about it is the fact that, well, first of all, the support guy gave me ammo. See that? Maybe he's been watching my videos and throwing out ammo. I'm just kidding. But if you're supporting, you see the guy needs ammo, throw him ammo. It's that simple. He gets ammo and you get free points. Who doesn't love free points? Come on. It's just like somebody's handing out something free that's walking by. Unless it's a paper flyer. Don't give me those, please. Give me something that I can use at the moment. Because paper flyers, what I'm going to do, read it and then i got to carry it around with me. I want to be able to consume it. Come on, food here, people. You forget that some of us are in college university. Food, food is a necessity that we lack sometimes. But, okay, I'm getting on ramblings that I don't want to be keep talking about. But we do know a little bit about the MP7 here in Battlefield 4. Is that its RPM is 950. Same it was in Battlefield 3. And it's the second highest in terms of PDWs in Battlefield 4. And that's blinding fast. Just behind the CZ-3A1 at 1,000 rounds a minute. So this weapon is obviously very, very close quarters oriented, but it has something over the CZ, and that is the fact that it can be taken out to farther ranges. Not very far, not a lot farther, but just slightly. Its recoil amounts are going to be, I'm guessing here, this is a kind of proposal guess, going to be rather high side-to-side -side recoil, which is it feels like it does. It feels like it bounces to the left and right quite a lot. Vertical recoil is going to be kind of a medium. It's not going to be just like a ridiculous M240B type of vertical recoil, but it's not going to be low either. It's going to be probably relatively high. Kind of similar to what the P90 has, I'm going to be guessing. Like I said, that's kind of a guess and prediction. Don't go based off of that in terms of, oh, you're wrong. It's actually going to be this, you know, a week or a few weeks down the road whenever the stats for these come out. That's just a guess. But the MP7 obviously is a close quarters gun, but the, the recoil on the gun doesn't make it feel like it's so limited to close quarters, and that's it. You can take this weapon out to a little bit farther ranges. Not much further, but just a little bit. But one thing you got to remember is that, like I said, with 950 rounds a minute, this weapon is going to be best used in close quarters, and its hit fire is no different than any other PW in terms of the fact that it's flat out amazing. And game modes like Operation Locker, TDM, Rush, any other type of game modes with close quarters engagements is the best place to use the MP7. Take advantage of that very fast RPM and that very good hit fire, as well as a rather fast reload time, and finally it has 40 rounds default as opposed to the 20 in Battlefield 3. That was torture. You guys remember the 20 round MP7 in Battlefield 3? You hardly would get a kill before your mag would run dry and you have to reload. It was frustrating and you had to put the extended mags on. Thankfully though, in Battlefield 4, it's been defaulted with 40 rounds per magazine, which gives you the opportunity to put something else on the weapon instead. Personally, I like to run with the reflex red dot sight at the moment, Perhaps the Cobra or Coyote once I get it. I've tried the Hollow. Not a big fan of that. The Laser Sight, just because it adds to the MP7 strength, which is close quarters hip fire. And then finally, it's a toss-up. I've tried the Muzzle Break, the Compensator, and the Suppressor. I can't decide. I really like them all. Probably the Compensator if I had to pick one because Vertical Recoil is going to be a easier to control than your Horizontal. So the Compensator may suit you better. If you're finding yourself needing the extra stealth, then definitely go with Suppressor. It works very well on the MP7. Well, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this quick video about the MP7 for the Engineer Kit. If you did, be sure to give it a rating, leave your thoughts about it below. Take care, and I'll see you all next time.